Okay, today we're talking about sock yarn. I thought I'd show you some of our favorite yarns for socks and things that use sock yarn that we have in the store. We'll start off with Mrs. Crosby. Big fan of Mrs. Crosby. As you know, we have tons of Mrs. Crosby yarns. Uh, one thing that really stands out for me uh, for this company out of all of the hand dyers is really actually two things. Number one, we can get the product. They tend to keep it in stock on the shelf and we don't have to wait six months to get what we need. That's always a big plus. Uh, the second thing, which to me is maybe just as important, a lot of times uh, with hand dyed yarns, they're very beautiful in the skein, but when you knit them up, they look nothing like it. It's a big surprise and sometimes it's not a pleasant one. Mrs. Crosby, what I love most about this is that when you knit these yarns, they're just as pretty in the skein as they are knit up. And that's a big plus. I want them to have kind of the same look. This is the Mrs. Crosby train case, which is her sock yarn. She has a lot of different yarns that can be used for socks, but to me, this is the best for socks. Uh, one reason why it is superwash merino mixed with nylon, mixed with a new high-tech fiber called Outlast Viscose, which has all the properties that you want in a sock uh, fiber. It's pretty cool. Lots of colors in it. Love Mrs. Crosby. Okay, move over here. Ba. Ba yarns also have beautiful colors. This is their speckled shades, and they work out beautifully too. This is La Jolla and the speckle. Love it. And then we also have, I'll just sneak back over here, some of the new uh, dappled, dipped and dappled shades. And those are fun as well. We really need to make something in these. They're gonna, I've seen them worked up and they work up really cool. But La Jolla is a really nice yarn. We have Kushku from Mirasol, which will knit in stripes. This has a wool mixed with bamboo and nylon. Bruce City, we got really deep into Bruce City. Oh, my son is making lots of noise, excuse him. We got really deep into Bruce City uh, probably about, about a year or two ago. And we have had a lot of fun with this yarn. We've had different uh, Halloween uh, things. However, our time with Brew City has come to an end. Uh, we had actually planned a big uh, spring, um, I guess more St. Patrick's Day kind of theme with their Lucky Charms. Uh, ordered and paid for it in advance way back in November. Waited months while they held on to our money with no response whatsoever. We finally had to go through the credit card, get our money reimbursed for failure to uh, ship, and they have not responded to us, to our reps, you know, everything. So I don't know what's going on there, but as far as we're concerned, we're done. Um, they, but So get it while you can, because this is going to be the end of Brew City for us. That's the, we'll find something else cool. There's other cool word. We found Brew City. We can find somebody else we like. Perth. This one sometimes gets overlooked for socks. Um, it's very nice. You can see it has the marled little twist shades and it knits in a long, uh, like this shawl is crocheted with it. At least give you kind of idea of how it has the smooth shifts in colors. Uh, this is a 100 gram skein for only $13.95 and comes in 10 great colors. So this is a good economical yet fun yarn for knitting socks. Love that one too. Okay, and then we're gonna have to move over here. It's kind of a tight fit. Going all the way back to when socks really started getting fever pitch for us way back, probably in the what late 90s, early 2000s with Regia. Uh, this yarn is from Shock and Meyer Namada. It's been around a long time. And um, one thing you might notice with the Rowan line is that Rowan does not have sock yarns. However, the Rowan designers partner with Regia because that is a sister company for them. And we have six fun shades from Rowan designer. Whoops, yarn going on the floor. D. Hardwick, her Garden City color line. So she's put the colors together, her very D. Hardwick colors. Um, on this shelf, we have Arnie and Carlos. They also do colors for Regia. This is her Gargia color. I don't speak Norwegian. We'll assume that's how you say it. And then, of course, Regia has come out with their Perfect. Perfect. And it, this yellow is just there as a guide. It actually has it um, engineered so that you can knit two exactly matching shop, uh, socks. And this yellow thread tells you when to start every piece so that they match exactly. And these are cool. You know, you can get the pink with the gray or the gray with the pink. And then we also have more of the rainbowy other colors from them as well in the regia. And behind me, I almost forgot, last but not least, our friends at Earth Unique also has socks that match. Uh, this is a version of the Unique Fingering that has the nylon for strength, and they've already got it wound into two balls so that when you make socks, 
they will match. I don't necessarily recommend using the pattern in here. I don't think it's very good. It's, it's actually pretty awful. Uh, but we gave you our sock pattern link yesterday on news.sockknit.com. Go use it instead. Uh, tomorrow we'll talk about the tools you need for sock knitting.